Welcome back to the start of the minor qualifiers here for the South American region. We're into map three between Sharks and In Flames, as you've just seen. If you were just joining us, uh, Sharks just lost the second map to the In Flames side, who uh, lost the first map to Sharks. So we stand here at map three, which is Mirage, uh, which, to my knowledge, is actually a bit of a new piece of territory between these two teams. Oh no, Swash that! They played it in the WESG 2018 Brazil LAN qualifiers. Where it went 60 11 to the favor of Imperial, which was the, who the Inflames were known as at the time, a core of four, going against the core of five that still remains for the Shark side. Therefore, this one could be a very, very fun map to close out the series. Because a little bit later on, we've got W7M versus 9Z here in our uh, second match and final match of this shift. Well, actually, our, our fourth match of this shift, stream overall. Um, but yeah, the uh, second and f well, the second match for me at the very least is what I'm, is what I'm trying to say. And the end result could be a fun one. This map certainly could be a fun one in its own right, so make sure you are locked in and getting ready. Quick pause to get things started. We've had our technical issues over the course of this particular stream and over the course of my general takeover. I think I may have caused these problems. I'm not going to lie. Because there was no issues with Zesh when he was on a little bit earlier. But for me, I've just come in and I've completely wrecked house. I've wrecked the entire place. It's all my fault. Of course, someone out there will certainly make that argument. I think I can make that argument pretty well. I'm, I'm a home wrecker. I mean, I'm just a wrecker in general. I can I can wreck anything. Except Counter-Strike. I can't wreck Counter-Strike. I suck at Counter-Strike. But I digress. Of course, you can see our odds on screen. We're our partners at GG Bear. Handicap odd of 2.08. Uh, I believe that's for over 26.5. Uh, but I can't verify that specifically because I haven't got the odds pulled up in front of me. I just have that little widget on screen. But of course, you can make bets on this match and all the other matches going on in the minor qualifiers at gg.bet. Bringing you live updates of the scores and the money lines as time goes on throughout the course of this stream. So, Flash and Smoke for ZQK, a P250 for Showtime. I imagine Chaz will also invest into a double Flash Smoke or a Flash Smoke HG set up for the utility. Actually, might even go in with just a single uh, uh, piece of Kevlar, depending on if they want to go towards the uh, B bomb site array. If it's A, I certainly would suspect a second Smoke coming in from him. The Sharks will put the Deagle down on RCF. He'll be playing uh, Headshot today. Question is, will it happen? Will he be able to do anything with it? What's Shan's going to buy down here for the inflamed side? What's the call, boys? Just Kevlar, as most of the default will be set up towards the B bomb site. The utility is going there with them. They got Showtime with the P250 trying to play a raid boss over on the uh, A bomb site, trying to play Lurk with the raid boss as well. Certainly could convince them of the idea that it would be an A site hit where it takes the third player up and over. So he taps on taps and does draw the attention of JNT with the diffuse kit. Meanwhile, wrap back in from the in flame side, goes out to underpass. So. Bit of a beast site hold coming through. The smokes go up and over to, I believe that's the uh, uh, jungle smoke? Yeah, jungle smoke out. So that way, access to the A bomb site will be gained. CT might have to be worried about as the push comes through from Dez. Looking around this corner against Knack. Takes him down. Five on four immediately as the bomb plant comes in from open. No wraparounds from the CT side in towards short. The teams have all that control for the in flame side as Exit gets tagged to 11 points of health. And now the T side get pushed upon. JNT with a frag back to four versus four. Smoke on the bomb. Diffuse kit on him. He's got a bit of cover to work with against the T side line, but he's going to go ahead for this Fuse open. Taps on taps from Shaz. Distraction coming in from RCF. He can't on the headshot on the man with the defuse kit and he's going to concede this. A four versus four retake and Sharks sneak the defuse in underneath the smoke. The ninja coming out. And the first will be on the board for the Sharks. You can see a blunder coming out from those boys. Not a, uh, a great start for In Flames. I will admit that their general bias tends to lean over to the CT side, so... I imagine they'll be looking towards more that second half to do the real damage against the uh, against the uh, shark side. So what they can do for now, though, is the AK, of course, gets brought down by Shaz here with the, uh, a bit of a, a weird half quasi force up. I mean, I think actually ZQK dropped that rifle to him. They had Kevlar staying uh, or being brought up by him. He saved one of the players that saved some Kevlar from the last round. And therefore, Deco, other than that, 
for the Inflame side, trying to do some damage to the Sharks, boys. Got a lot of control in towards the mid position. Shaz will take out RCF to kick things off for the T's. JNT spots out Showtime, suspecting it will be a force buy, so we're going to take a sweet time with this one. Knack faces up and does what the AK-47 player, but can't quite take him down. Seeing another T-side player wrap around out towards the uh, jungle position as well. Showtime will be dealt with. Deagle in for RMN. Deals with JNT in a four versus two scenario. Bomb plant will be down. In flames have another rifle to work with. Another one they can pick up as well. As Shaz catches off exit and as he exits out of the round. And it's Eagle from ZQK deals with one more as well. Can't get that rifle, but it will be one back on the borders. In flames with the weird force eco are going to make it work. I do like that strategy actually. Realizing that mid control probably would come in from the sharks, or well, pretty likely would come in from the sharks. So they isolate that one kill and storm their way onto the bomb site where they can spiral the kills out of control. And unfortunately, sharks just gearing themselves up in 1vx situations. And one player towards the CT spawn, one more out towards the jungle area, and Inflames was wrapped up against them, got those kills, and they faced all together. AK, of course, doing the damage. Shaz can be happy with the round that he's just brought for the Inflames side. It's an eco force for Sharks. Pistols in with Kevlar. One UMP for Leo Drunky. Smokes in two flashbangs. Showtime starts. Good spray from him. Shaz comes up with a secondary frag. Is that uh, certainly uh, showing exactly what uh, Nat was thinking after he went down there? A bit of a deco on right there. Last CF, one point of health needed against him. He's going down. Actually, he gets out of dodge in time, so well played from his part. But lone man on the B side defensive with in flames pushing two rifles here. One point of health to try and defend against it. It's not happening. JNT will fall meanwhile. The burst comes through from the FAMAS, leaving the only man left for exit. And we'll probably be back to save the Kevlar at this stage. The bomb plot will come through for In Flames as they take a pretty decent wraparound on the T side. And again, return fire back to not only equalizing off the back of the pistol, but also the lead above the shark side. Quick hit comes out, the Sharks pushing a stack in towards the A bomb site. Flashbang's over and they won't quite push so far forward here in Flames. Like they will lose the first frag on the CT side. One player close, Showtime will deal with him. RMN getting tagged up, deep down, 27 points of help. But he kills on the map towards Dark and Knack also going to go forward equal the same. Two kills for RMN, nice and easy there for the In Flames. 3-1 to one on the T side board and the buy-up can come through for Sharks. Orp in for JNT immediately. That makes a whole lot of sense. And RCF... I have the first of four AUGs coming out for the CT forces. They've got enough money to invest into this. Three smokes. What can the Sharks do here? They can do anything at all. ZQK. Looking for the fast hit coming out as well. Set something up towards the uh, mid position. The smoke's coming out to the apartments, and it looks like Inflames are going to commit in just the first 20 seconds of the round. Leo Drunky puts the camera smoke down to Bruce. He spots sprays on through towards the man on balcony. RMN goes falling. Molotov's in from showtime. Push them out of the other side corner as Dez wraps back in and tries to look for this Brucey man. Spots him up on top of the bench. RCF gets back up to four versus four, trying to see if he can contest this. The blind spray from Showtime catches him in the head, and the bomb plant will be down. Man of Vantage game by Inflames and AUGs to work with for the FAMAS player here of Dez. He's going to play close to the corner, though. If the CTs want to push in from door, then they're going to in for, be in for a hell of a time. But they're going to wrap away and save instead. Better to hold on to these rifles. They haven't got enough money kicking around, so... Open AUGs out. I'm going to exit frag it out, so showtime will be falling. It limits the economy to a certain extent for Inflames, but to be honest, limiting is the best they can do because the, the uh, confident rounds out from Inflames barely using any of their utility in the last two rounds. You can see that they built up quite the money stack, at least $7,000 on every single player. In fact, Dez is going to be on 10,000 pre-bonus and all five on 10,000 pre-buy. That is a lot of money. <laughs> 
a lot of money for the T side line. I mean, Showtime and Iron Man have to be invested anyway. But it looks like Dez and Shaz will be on even 10,000 post buy. A timeout from Sharks. I think they've got a good read on this as well. They've got to realize that this is not, absolutely not, the situation they want to be in at this stage. They must also know that their opponents have a very strong CT side on this map. So you're taking a look at what they do, at, 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 you know, where they stand in terms of this half. They've got to get the majority of the rounds. Ops in AUGs for Mars and UMP out for Leo Drunky. Exit begins things off out the utility play into the ramp position. Flames are ready for these utility plays though from Sharks, and they're going to push up to very advanced angles. that he goes out from the T side over to the A bomb site initially to start things off. Problems of rotation in from RCF as well. They'll be wary of this as well because Inflames have, have been left a pretty decent gap that they can work with. The mid control coming through, they can boost into the sniper's nest. And the, T the CT side won't have any information on this until the kill comes in. Like if he wants to wrap around towards the B bomb site, if any of the T side players want to go through the murder hole, which I think is popped up as well for the CTs. Burst in from Showtime, kicks things off. Knack strikes first, but loses his life through his aggression. A slight overextension from Sharks. Costing him big time here. Five on four, 50 seconds to go. In flames now. Time to move into the bomb site. They've left one player back here at Dark Molotov Vault. Give him a death. JNT trades back the AWP. Four versus three situation in flames. Holding their line on the bomb site. The bomb has been dropped. I mean, they haven't really. Uh, Gained a bomb point out of this. Damage being done to the CT and T side forces. The spray's coming through. The AWP of JNT in such an awkward spot as well. Nades in against him. Counter flash out will blind him off. But he still gets the blind shot on Showtime through the smoke. So, three on three. Bomb plant down for Shaz. Molotov's in RCF will force him off angle. And eventually the backstab coming in from Leo will get the kill. Leaving it all left to two players. One tagged heavily by the T side line. And the bomb's been planted behind the boxes. RCF can stick this. The smoke will go down. And two players in from Connector just can't do a thing about this. UMP kill for Leo. And JNT closes things out on Dez. Two for the Sharks. I also want to remind you that the next match coming up on our stream will be W7M versus 9Z. After this one is finished, of course. Not the best of three, we'll decide what those maps are in a little bit time. Of course, we'll uh, bring in that match as soon as this one is finished. Hopefully, we'll be able to start it from map one this time. But more details on that to follow. For now, let's get back into round seven between Inflames and the Sharks. Full by coming in for both sides. JNT and exit mid face. Exit is going to take a lot of aggression up towards that mid position. Ready for the T side to wrap around here. Bomb picked up by ZQK. JNT is watching top of middle as well. Exit will be watching out the underpass position. We'll get that kill on the man. AWP gets that kill. Nat comes up with a secondary frag and Exit turns around, but ZQK gets that kill. Meanwhile, Leo knows there's a man tagged up lower in the underpass position. RMN gets a nade back on a low HP CT, so man advantage only for the CT side. HP as well above ZQK, but in flames has sight control and if they can get this one orb shot on knack then that will be potentially a round turning uh frag the trade is still good for zqk so shaz has got to do a lot of the heavy lifting from here ak in 25 seconds the bomb's got to go down eventually rcf sprayed up goes down 
The bomb plant needs to come in now from In Flames. They have taken passive stances here for the Sharks. The bomb plant open. Oh, it's going down. That's round over. Leo strikes, peeks back in, gets the triple. And In Flames, nothing they could do to cover off the short face from the CT player, which costs them big time. And now Sharks will mount up their half at long last. In Flames with a confident start. They've got another buy back in here. Force up with the AWPs. The AK is coming out. I think they should also get the full set of utility for every player. So actually, it's a full buy rather than a force buy. They've still got a little bit of money kicking around from that very defined economy state. And 10,000 down to as low as $650 for In Flames. Nades out doing damage towards top mid. Dead sprays on through, but JNT gets the kill and the second and the third. And Sharks are now looking confident as anything as the bomb goes down. And In Flames got Showtime towards the on the pass position alongside Shaz. Back over to Palace. No way out, no way in. And yeah, all five alive for Sharks. And what a round. What a confident round from them. Orps in, AUGs, AKs out for six players total, actually. Or five for the Inflame side. Actually, one more for RCF for JNT. Be the main striker. First kill. For those of you requesting that we stream 9Z versus W7M, it's not my call to make. When this match is over, we will jump straight over to that matchup. So if you are looking forward to it, sit tight. It will be coming. But we've got to get through Sharks versus In Flames first. Again, not my call to make. I'm just doing my job. Five on four situation. Sharks. Man advantage, damage done to ZQK and Showtime as well. A little bit traded back on JNT and Leo. Boost up. Loses a frag for the CT side, but JNT is covered off by Exit as he gets the kill on Dez CQK. And Shaz go fall into Exit in the connector position. Bomb now down towards mid. CT's in full control of the round. And Showtime, there is no way out of this one. One versus four. Burst in from Knack, gets the kill on Showtime. Sharks taking the lead. Eco should come through for the Flames. I mean, it's more of a half by than an Eco. Pistols out with the Kevlar and helmets. Nades in from RMA. We'll start things off from JD. And they stack in total. Actually, get him down. It comes up with two kills and a headshots. And Dez turns it back around to a 3v3 scenario. Bit short control. AUG will turn on for that quick frag. And if that's coming in towards the A bomb site. And the AUG picked up by Dez is all that remains for the T side line. RCF. Here towards the ladder room. Not spotted. Dez does turn towards him. Eventually sprayed through, but taking more damage than he can dish out. And they now know that this cross is locked. Nat here on towards the ticket booth. Burst under the head, and Dez will go falling. So 6-4 to four for the shark side. Timeout will be called this time for the Inflames, boys. Things have to go back and forth for this final map as we expected out of this one.
Off tag lands for JNT first. Second face in from ZQK. Forced to come out with a Molotov. Of course, Light HP would have gone down. Opening kill and everything. Spray back in from the AK. Trying to see if he can spray it back, but it's just not going to happen. It'll be picked up by Showtime for HP. I don't think it'll be getting out alive. Dez gets knack, four on three. In flames with control. Once again here in the T side line. Next it will try to wrap over to the A bomb site. They know that there's one man up here. And the bomb considering the commitment out, how much information does Shaz get out of this? They're hearing a lot of footsteps, the AWP ready for face, and you'll see at least two CT players that might be able to connect the dots. They should be able to push in towards the B bomb site, realizing that it's gonna be weakened. But Sharks will still be up for the retake. Hearing those flashbangs coming through, knowing that this will end up being a beast site here, but the Molotov body blocked by Dez leaves the apartments isolated. Orc flip from Showtime, lands the leg on Exit, not getting the kill though. So now two players on HP disadvantage for Showtime and Exit. Now pushes come through as RCF gets down one. Traded back by RMN, blind spray from Exit deals with him. And Showtime with the AWP, four points of health and two very stellar orb shots to land. Smokes to the bomb site, siphons him off, but the bomb can still get tapped upon. I think it's the default. They're not going to realize just yet. JNT pushing through the smoke. That allows a chance for Showtime. He doesn't strike. Quick scope. Looks back in. Looks for exit as well. Back over to the trap position. The AUG spraying on through. Knows that he's close. And he's got to set the full five seconds. He's got a kit in play. But no time left. Showtime will spray. And I don't think exit's got time for this. This will be close. <gasps> he's got it, mate. Second for exit. In the kill count. Leaving another round for the Sharks. Clutching it together barely against the low HP Orpa. But a couple of blunders for the Sharks in that one. Pushing too far forward, couldn't find that bomb. I think that's more of a thing from the Inflame side, to be honest, because usually you don't plant to that left side. Usually you plant on default at the, at the boost box rather than the, the main box. CT's gain control, moving straight into the push. Look at how far pushed up they really are. Showtime spotted on the Achilles heel. Sprays back and forth, doing a lot of damage for both sides. They stand at evens in terms of the HP. No kills just yet. Smokes up, Molotovs, flashbangs in the execution. Straight up set from in flames. Rotation should get called in by RCF, the secondary AWP, knack on the bomb site, tagged up extremely hard, will fall back to Ninja and exit. Look at how close he really is. Play Brian on the first man. Showtime takes him down. Shaz comes back up to the four versus three, and the man on the bomb site is dealt with the low HP man. Down and out. RCF trades. Three on three. Low HP for two players on the T side line, and one more management spot in Showtime. Spray in AWP, taps him up, takes him down. They do try to wrap around and isolate the player towards the connector. They will be able to do so as the strike comes in. The spray from RMN deals with a one versus one as Leo gets a trade on the backstab. It's all left to ZQK. Spray from the Galil wins it out as Leo has no information on the last. And it will be a fifth for Flames. A hard fought fifth, but a fifth nonetheless. Orpson, AKs out, M4s and standards for both sides. Heavy investment coming through. A round that could turn the tide of the half. Certainly in the case of Inflames, they are two rounds behind. Sharks have could put a serious deficit on that T side line. They also have four rounds lost bonus to work with.
Teens push up. A lot of aggression coming in from Dez. Look at his position over here towards the uh, uh, jungle position. CTs will notice, but we're going to realize this will be a flank play that turns to an A site hit, and indeed ZQK gets that opening kill. AWP locks on the JNT, deals with the first. Two more kills coming with the AKs as well for the Inflame side. RCF lurking around the corner, not going to go for the position, but RMN checks it, and RMN wins out the fight. All have to exit one versus five. And it looks like the turnaround round for Inflames will come to fruition. Exit will get an exit frag at the very least, living up to his namesake, but how many more can he get? The answer is no more. Four stay alive and in flames can start to build up the basis for that economy state that was looking so good early on in the matchup. Still only in the first half, we've just seen blow for blow. Round 14 will be the eco for Sharks. He's in flames to get as even as possible. And this does concern me a little bit again. Historically, in flames have an overwhelmingly CT sided Mirage. 63% of rounds won are on CT side. Showtime kicks things off, taking out JNT, RCF also getting killed. USP out, dinks down for Leo, sacrifice a lot of HP to get that trade, but AK can get picked up by Nack, turns on the second hand shot, that's pretty good. Facing for the third, if he drops that AWP, that's a lot of damage done, that's a lot of investment has to come through. But, ZQK to win out the fight, and leaving it all left to exit as the last man standing here, one versus three. USP, taps on tap, Shaz, not going to get taken down. Martov's up and over, damage done to exit, AK at the spray, at the helm. The bomb plant down to default. Exit, probably best to grab that AK and run for it at this stage, put the Molotov down. Can't quite take ZQK out, so he stays alive. And Exit looking to get away with a rifle. A little bit more firepower for Sharks here. The headshots can count against the head Kevlar now. Not a showtime, so a little bit damage done. With the economy state being the way it is for Inflames as well, this could actually hurt the buy-up coming through for the last round of the half. Might just be enough to tip Sharks over the edge. Let's see. AK is in. AWP should come in from ZQK. Or you drop for the man, so that's fine. Full set utility for everybody else, so... All even out at 7-7, here we go. Last round of the half to see who is going to take the half advantage. Who is going to take the lead at the end of the first half of our final map? Flashes over the T. He's going to try to sell them on the idea that it will be an A execution. Smoke's coming in immediately, but the wraparound is out from the T side line. Towards underpass, they will go. Pick up that bomb instead and actually going to continue to commit. They have baited in sharks to go towards the A bomb site, seeing nothing else, but will they counter rotate to this? At this point, they can't really do that. They've got mid control. In flames. Smoking, remodeling down. It will be four players to contest here, the A bomb site. If they wrap around towards B right now, they have an easy time at this round taking out Leo. But they're going to commit to A. Bomb still towards ramp. Two players in mid. A third going to get boosted up to the sniper's nest. Second set of utility coming through. They are going to go to A. And Sharks are not budging. They've held their nerve. And they may reap the rewards for it. 45 seconds. It's here come in flames. One player on the backstab. Showtime could do some damage from this disposition. But 
And not just yet, flashing in towards Connecti. You'll hear the footsteps are starting to make his way up close and personal. I'm hearing RCF around the corner. Spray into the headshot. There goes one. Three players now directly defending the bomb site as Exit makes his way up. Sprays on through, does damage on the Shaz. Second face will get his headshot down to four versus four. But ZQK trades as JNT keeps it even standing. While RMN gets the kill. Ninja spot not checked. Ninja spot not checked. Nat denies that bomb one. And Dez comes up with a kill. Eventually, they turn it back to two versus one with a bomb out in the open. This can still be a chance for the other strike. Nades on towards the bomb site. Sprays on through with damage being done. And Dez comes up with a secondary frag eight to seven and it will be in flames to claim the half advantage just by the skin of their teeth though this could have turned around very easily for the shark side but it's a massive massive pickup for in flames as their ct side looks set to decimate the shark side already a pretty poor win rate for the sharks in the past so far across their region Represented, of course, in Brazil and also over the European region, the CIS, where they face off against the VP and Windstrike and Dream Eater sides, not taking victories on this map. And again, with the balance of CT favor, the CT bias for In Flames. This might end up being the end already. Let's find out whether it will happen. USP is out against the Glocks. Full Kevlar train for the Shark side. The Showtime gets the first headshot. Looking for the second man. Dez will lock out Leo and Showtime doubles up for the double kill. Bomb dropped out to the balcony. RCF will aggress down the CT line, but he can only get so much done. Leaving it all left to Knack as the last man standing. USP in for Dez. Taps on taps. Lands that headshot for the 2k. Two kills for Showtime as well. And this will be nine on the board for In Flames. Eco up for Sharks. Smokes at the ready, trying to keep him away. In flames push in. Smokes and flashes at the ready. Once again, the T side make their way out and about. Straight into the bomb site spray from RMN. Lines up two as CZQK gets Nat dropping that bomb. Full control for the CTs. Once again, easy as. There you go. Three kills for RMN as well. All five staying alive for In Flames. And the buy up should be set up for the T side. How much will the CTs be going in to invest? How much will they upgrade? How much value will they want to get out of the weaponry they already have? Looks like they're sticking with every gun. Two rifles, a scout, and two SMGs as well. Not ideal against the AKs, obviously, of the Sharks' side, but it might be enough to hold off, depending. If they can get those kills of the SMGs especially, then that should be easy as that for the in flame side for this round. But let's see how much they can do. Again, heavy advantage for Sharks in this one. We can keep the hype train rolling at this stage. Of course, to remind you all, this is for a spot in the semi-finals to face off against the winner of Redemption, POA, or INTZ. Or INTS, as some people call it. It's confusing because INTS and INTS and a lot of the teams are kind of like facility on that similar sort of pronunciation line, so I'm going to call them INTZ. For my benefit more than anything else. Tees start making their way downstairs into underpass. Knack will move. AK's up and over. Leo moving in. So t What a shot! Tightest of angles from Leo and he lands the head kill onto Showtime. Only man defending the bomb site directly. He's got passive control and rotations coming in for the CT side. Shaz gets ready for Knack. Knack can get the kill on his team. Make the trades come back. Two SMG frags and now... Oh, sorry. One SMG frag with an AUG getting the other one. A 3v3 scenario as the bomb plant goes down. CT still facing up. Dead's going to spot out RCF on top of... The uh, truck here, RCF, two quick frags. Nadezin does not kill the two low HP players, so it leaves it all onto Shaz. 
Last bounce landing for Inflames. AK in his hands. Probably best for him to save the short position, and that's exactly what he's doing. Hearing Leo. Takes that man down. Going to force an investment back on most of the Sharks players. If he gets that fourth kill as well for JNT. Pretty huge. And indeed, he catches him with a knife, but can't get the frag. So he gets away alive. Shaz will get away alive as well. The Sharks score one on T side, but can they score more? Or will Inflames just shut them down? Inflames getting three kills on SMGs and scouts. So on paper, it does suggest the idea that they should be able to do a lot more damage with these rifles coming out. M4, AUG's a standard AK for Shaz and one SMG for Showtime. We'll leave the only real weakened weapon for the CT side. For dead, spots the first man out, getting the multiple in towards Leo's position, trying to force him back out. Shaz is here towards the other favor. Spots RCF and tags him, but doesn't take him down. Nade against him should do a little bit more damage, but lands on the stairs and falls back towards the underpass position rather than landing on the target. 40 seconds left for the T side, they need to make their way in as Dez does catch off Leo, take him down. Ladder room, he gets that kill as flashbangs and Molotovs do force the CTs out a little bit. They've got one man on the balcony area. Those Showtime Shreks on two players on for the third. No, JNT trades it, but still a three versus two favor to the CT side. RCF gets sprayed up, taken down by ZQK, leaving it all left to JNT as the last man standing in a one on three scenario. Sprays up, Shaz will get him, the fuse will come through, and in flames hold the control. Ten seconds of the defuses. No one actually has a kit on that CT side. But it doesn't matter at the end of the day, they have plenty of time for this. And they will get their round, they will get their fair dues. Eco will come through for the Sharks here in this one. A little bit of utility going to try and execute towards that B bomb site. Only one man there to defend against it. It's showtime. Smokes that are ready. The utility comes in. Flashbangs over. We'll get forced out in the open. Eventually overwhelmed by the CZ kill coming in from RCF. Backup is on the way. One plant will go out the default here. In flames up for the retake. In the very least, Sharks can get a bit of money bonus out of the bomb plant for this round. Already mission success as now the retake comes in and the CTs do clean up some of the kills. But the AK from RCF turns on for two. Damage done to him. The Kevlar still in play. Smokes up as said QK tries to isolate this man. Cross lock. The spray is not good though. He can't get the frag. Can't even get a tag damage on the 34 HP player. Eventually a teammate will do a bit more than 23 and he goes go down to the AUG. One man in apps. One man on site. Site dead. Apps last man standing. P250. Damage done to several of the CT players, but in the end, the defuse will come through for RMN. Defuse kit in hand, and it will be 12 for the flame side. Three kills for Dez. Great defensive on the retake as well. The buy up. Three set now for the Sharks. Bomb plant bonus. Four rounds of loss bonus. Max loss bonus in the next one for the Sharks side.
It's looks to be set execute into the A-bomb site. Set smoke, set flashbangs, Molly's in as well. At the ready. And she's just a peek in from RCF to kick things off. Spots 29 towards the Nicky Booth area. They've got one firebox, one and dark. Crossfire will set up for the firebox kill. AWP strikes towards one man. And RCF, no idea. There's still one here on the bomb site. Look at how passive Dez wants to play this. Wait for his teammates to get back into position. As the smokes go down. The bomb plant is open for Sandwich. And Dez will strike on towards back up here. Take the first man. Get the second kill. No. Nat gets the headshot. The three versus two. Sharks. Advantage against the retake. Cities of Inflames don't want to shake this one, don't want to face this one either. No rockage of the boat. They'll fall back and save. Kind of have to with the current money line from the Inflames side, so it makes a whole lot of sense. Sharks will get another one here. Three rounds of deficit for Sharks to come back to. In Flames might be considering the idea of a pause at this stage to try and figure out if they want to go for a buy. Actually, they're going to decide on it straight up. Putting a lot of stock in this next round, so it better go well for them. Sharks on the comeback still up to do a lot of damage here. The T side move up straight into the apartments area. Show time. Only man really defending this position here towards short, seeing the smokes come in fast, execute out from the T side, they in, do a little bit of damage, RCF will be taken out first, and Showtime's still back in, backed up by the smokes coming in from the T side, so he stays alive, no trades are allowed, Tracers will fire through from Leo, but he can't get any kills, man advantage for in flames of the bomb down, goes down for Sharks, flashbangs over, Leo gonna face through the smoke, damage done by Dez, but he doesn't get the kill, meanwhile the trades can't come through for the T side, they're doing so much damage to the CT line, but they just can't seem to get them down, in flames, keep five alive for this retake and now flash their way into the bomb site. Leo's gonna be the pivotal point here. Shows that man's the corner and spray comes in, flashbang against him. He continues to keep him suppressed up towards the short position. Meanwhile, exit gets a kill. Two for one, trade leaves at three versus three. And the seniors continue to move in from the market area. Exit with two on for the triple. He spots man towards corner. Leo sprays on, gets himself two of his own right. And now ZQK has to fall back. No chance on this one. Ten on the board for Sharks. Just barely fighting their way out of contention. And we stand within two. AWP for said QK is all they've really got to work with. Two flashes, one smoke, AWP for the man. In flames. Other than that, have pistols. Sharks, execute coming in. A site sets again. Should be able to make mincemeat of this round here. The AWP first thing down. Exit comes up with two of his own right. Two players left standing for the CT forces. In flames will not be doing anything for this one. This will be 11 on the board for Sharks. And the buy up will come through. This one goes down to the wire. I mean, that W7M series might start without us. <laughs> I hope not, because it actually could be a really good match. This one's being down to the wire, though, and exciting in its own right, so let's just stick on with it. Again, we will jump to W7M versus 9Z as soon as this one is over, so bear with us if you're looking forward to that series. 
And JNT certainly is not happy with his stance in this one. This might be the reason why Sharks had such a bit of a deficit with stakes like that. What was that smoke? Like, what on earth was that smoke? So a waste the utility for the T-side line. Only get five of those per round. Teams looking to commit to B. Two players to the end the bomb flat directly. One third in from the short position of the flashbangs and smokes go over. RCF up and over. Martov's in, down towards the truck position. Ryan right, forces CT out of play, but this is all a ruse here from the Sharks. They're going to wrap back in. One player towards underpass, one towards mid face, and no one from the CTs will challenge it either. 45 seconds. Strain from Shaz deals with the first. Leo takes him down. RMN trading back over to Connect, and that will deal with this man. Turn on for the secondary frag for exit as Showtime goes falling, and AUG spray for the first and the second. Dropping this bomb. Dez up for the triple kill. And ZQK rotating in with the AWP. He's got to try and back this man up. He sprays and does damage onto Exit. The nade against him, though, should be able to take him down. No, he gets the USP kill. And that last man standing. AWP now AWP cross lost. Uh, AWP cross locked. 15 seconds remaining. And a spray in from that. Gets the first. Isolates the second. And gets the triple kill for the T-side. Sharks down in the worst possible position. They still get it out of play. Very similar to our first map, which of course we missed, but I did see how the rounds went down. Start of In Flames, very, very confident start to the match, and then eventually it was turned around by Sharks to a 12 12 and then to a 16 12 in the end. Smokes up, Molotovs in. RCF will try and get a bit in the mid face going in for the T side. JNT sprays on through. Can't get any damage to Dez and Co, though. In Flames are on the eco, so these advanced positions will be advisable. Good pivotal potentially for the In Flames side. Dez and the smoke will be spotted out. Spraying from JNT will take him out to start. RCF follows up on the showtime. And unfortunately, while these positions will be pivotal for the CT side, it also requires them getting the kills and all of them to work. And no such things will be coming in for the CT forces. Two kills for RCF. The Eagle up. Two so players to spot here. He has taken both down, so limiting the economy, but in the end, the damage will not do much to the overall Sharks economy. Plenty of cash rolling for the T side. 13 to 12. Three rounds for the Sharks to make it in with the victory, to beat out in flames in what has been a tough back and forth series thus far. And it looks like it will not disappoint for these last few rounds of regulation. Will it end up with overtime, though, is the question. That certainly is possible. Kill in for Nack will kick things off. Spray in for Dezo. Takes Nack back to four on four. Teams meanwhile pushing towards the power position, and RMN's not ready for that. RCF with a quick headshot spray down. Man advantage game once again by the T side line, but the AWP is ZQK. Wants to change that quick face in, takes the first, not spotting the second. Behind Firebox, they are flashing their way out, crossing over to the danger box. Open plant for connector. Shaz. Oh, not getting spotted out of the edge of the smoke. Leo betting in that one up kill, gets the frag. The shot misses, and it's a man of vantage regain by the T-side Sharks, looking so coordinated, so good on these executes. And in flames, leaving a lot of gaps in the fence, a lot of lines open for the T's to work with. It's in flames, fall back and save their rifles. Or we'll be able to get one exit frag, but it doesn't matter too much against the Sharks. They've got money to burn. So it will be 14 to 12. Very dire straits for the inflamed side. Again, this CT side should have been theirs. They will get all five players down, which will do a lot more damage than what was initially expected. But again, look at the number of rounds they've got in a row on the T side. Six. It's 21 to 26. And now round 27 up to play for. AUGs, AWP, AKs. 
ZQK, of course, getting one AWP for his trouble. One SMG for Showtime is not ideal for Inflames, but it has to be around for them. Orpin, flick out, JNT missing, taking a lot of damage done. And the smoke from his teammate barely saves him. Nades against him. Oh, tagged him at six points of health. So he gets away alive. Barely by the skin of his teeth, though. Sharks. Coming in for the A execute. These two players setting up the utility here, and actually they're going to decide they're going to fall back instead. Also makes sense. That's fine. Knack into underpass. We'll try and take a bit more of a default face over the shark side, getting information out, potentially a kill on the player in con. Here we go, they decide on A site. Three players out of ramp, orb in at Palace. One player lurking in the mid position for Knack. Playing very quietly and carefully on the short position. He'll try and look for the cover off, realizing that Dez might be here. I don't think he spotted him though. That can be in with a chance. AWP in for JNT. Spots the man towards jungle and takes him down. Damage done to Leo at the very least. The fight. Five versus four with a HP advantage, but not for long. Dez does trade back on Leo. Hold that bomb from getting out towards the danger box. No one else on bomb site to try and defend here for the CT forces. Showtime. Grabbing the AUG. Molotov's utility coming out. JNT still swings out, tries to get this player down. In the end, it's traded back by ZQK. And Showtime had the 21 points of health on ticket booth. Sprays in from RCF. Cannot get the frag to the man of arch of the T side. Eventually, Showtime shows his nerve and he will go falling as the ZQK. And Dez also dealt with by Knack on the other side of the bomb site. And that's map and match point for the Sharks. And again, eerily similar to the way the train went down. Smokes up immediately, sets into the A-bomb site. Close range from Shaz, drops that bomb for the first frag. Looks in for Leo and takes down a triple kill. No, AWP trades it with one M4 still here to try to keep control. JNT strikes back on him. Double kill to the three versus two. Both team side players trying to find their way and expecting backstabs to come in from the CT side, but Dez is not going to extend that far. Minute and ten, ZQK. Playing back, looking in. Smokes will keep JNT covered, but not for long. He peeks up the bombs, been dropped one more time and exit. Left to exit as it looks like in flames. Want to hold on for a little bit longer. Lexit does fight his way out of a corner, take down one player at least. Second frag potentially against said QK. Ooh, he gets him. 1v1, 3k up for the lone T side play, but he's about to face around this corner where Showtime's already holding from, and he wins out the fight. Can't grab that AWP, unfortunately, but it's all the same. Timeout called now by the Sharks. They're within touching distance of this series victory, but they just couldn't go past that last hurdle. Not quite over just yet for the T side. You can see how the odds still favor the Sharks side to win this map. Turn things around hardcore. 
T side of Sharks make their way into the app position in flames with a buy up. It is still a better buy for the T side line. SMG boosted up from dead, smokes in. Out towards the armchair. Get ready for the T's to make their way inland. Sharks hold back for the moment. They wait for a little bit. In flames. Crossfire towards the B bomb site in the apartment position might just work out for them. It all comes out to the details. The devil is there. SMG for contact, AK for the frags, and Sharks to win the match off the back of this, or decimation in the absolution. position. Flashbang over, Dez evades it, and here they come. RCF checks the spray, comes through the SMG, one kill to his name, caught quite in a second, the AK of Showtime, now playing possum, waiting around, the scout also in, as the AK strikes for one kill, lined up two kills, not quite the third, but the Dez scout here is ready to deal with the damage on the low HP ran of the T side. 30 seconds for Nak to rotate to the A bomb site, and the CTs will not be able to catch him off just yet, but I don't think he's got time or health to deal with the CT forces. I think RMN also heard him. There's one mountain ward short, 10 seconds, no smoke to cover him off. He's got to go running. He's got to go right now. Oh, is he going to get to the bomb site in time? Oh, no, he's not. It's over. It's 14 for in flames. And Knack disappointed in that one. As we go to full 30 rounds in this matchup, ladies and gents. Can they close it out? Another timeout coming in for the Sharks. They had the better buy, but they didn't anticipate the contact play. They didn't anticipate the CTs. All held out in the apartments area. What will be enough to push Sharks past the final hurdle? Here we go. One final round for Sharks to take. Any round will do. This force by. Be their last one. Here we go. Quick hit out towards the B apartments. Initially, that's what it seems like. Sharks will get forced back by the uh, Mortov coming in by the T side line. And again, these two players, Dez and Showtime, here for the contact play. From Mars up first, gets the first man and the secondary kill. Sprays will come back from the T side, but it's a five versus three. And exit's extremely low. Sharks, no options to rotate to A. They've got that pretty much set up here for the Inflame squad. And now. There should be no way out. It looks like overtime is on the cards here. In flames. Just waiting for the CTs to face towards them. Five seconds. Knack oh, gives up his position with no boost up player being on that B bomb site. Might force the bomb to go towards A. JNT here for the entry frags. 35 seconds to his name. Shaft tempted for a mid face, but not going to get out towards the sniper's desk. Meanwhile, Knack going to join his teammates again. Time is going to be extremely low. Here they come. One man towards Dark to hold the defensive line as the AUG will push forward. Rotations are coming in thick and fast. 15 seconds and the teaser is going to get locked out. JNT, no chance on this one. We are in overtime for the map up. The wraparound from short works well for the CT line. Technical pause called by someone, I'm not sure whom.
Nice connection issue for Inflames. We saw that a couple times out to the coast of this uh, series. Because MR3 10k, in case you're not really aware of the rules, $10,000 per player here. So a little bit of economical management have to come through for a team that heavy invests in the first couple of rounds. But again, Sharks. They should start going for Inflames. Sharks with a comeback, and Inflames trying to come right back into this control. Have a chance once again to take this map away and take this series away as an extension. And again, for those of you who will be uh, here for the W7M versus 9Z match, that will be on stream as soon as this map is over. We may miss a couple rounds, but we will still bring you that match up. So sit tight for a bit. We'll get there eventually. We're both sides the same to each other right now. We'll get there eventually. We now have just four rounds to take. Let's do this. Orps in for both sides, AUG's in for two of the CT players, a Krieg out for exit and the AK-47 by. Quick play coming in from Shaz out towards the mid position, Leo Dronky down. First frag for the CT forces, no response towards on the pass, but I'm gonna get dropped out by Nakati, he tries to get this trade back, but no other CTs will show their face. It's just that one kill and Shaz and Co back right out of the mid position. Into the A site stack will leave Showtime isolated to the B bomb site. Eventually, his main duo man of Dez will get there. AUG in tow. The shark slowly rotate out towards. The A bomb site. In the ramp position, two players will hold. One more towards Palace. They've still got Knack up in the mid position. Just in case he wants to cut off any rotations coming in from the inflamed side. The QK, here we go. What for the frag? JNT. Second player down on the T side line. Spraying from exit will try and take RMN out, but he backs off towards the firebox. The T is going to commit towards this one. One kill for RCF. Nats rounds that corner and gets Shaz right down. Looks in for the second spray. Back to the man advantage of the shark side of three versus two. Bomb plant going to be allowed open. So they realize that no one's coming from short. Showtime will get towards the mid position. That's going to hear it. Spray on through. Take him down. ZQK, last man standing with the AWP. And just like that, it goes from five versus three to one versus three. Nat with a 3k, RCF with one, and ZQK with a save round here. They can hunt down this AWP, and that would be massive for the T-side line. But he looks to get away alive. 16 for Sharks. As the defensive just does not hold from the CT side. Double orb set up in for in flames off the back of that one. A heavy investment that could cost them here. If they lose this one, they'll have no money for the last round of the overtime half. The 
does. Facing, taking out RMN, kicking things off. Knows that Shaz is also going to be down here. Double flashing towards him. We're going to try and blind them off. Going to try and keep him suppressed. And more Molotovs coming out. Spray lined up. Leo gets damage on the two players. Can't quite get the frags. And now knows that there's one towards Dark. They got info on three CTs. It's not looking good. Showtime with the AWP. The one Lich pin out towards Jungle gets one kill, but it's two for one trade overall. And damage done to Dez and ZQK will leave them completely isolated, completely exposed, and more than likely dead in this case. They know the last two CTs are at the Pommel Road. Take towards the B bomb site. Showtime might get a pick on the man towards Dark, but that may be as far as he goes. It's Leo. Drops that last. Showtime alone towards the short position. That's going to get ready to catch him off guard. AK facing around the corner. Showtime does get towards short in time. Evade that one face, but the bomb should go down. The AWP now spotted. And the T side responds with a second kill in kind. Economy will be crippled for the CT forces. Sharks 17 to 15. One round away from Mapper Match Point once again here. Force investment from In Flames. Orp in for ZQK. SMGs on two. And pistols out for the other two. The quick hit comes out. Default set up towards the A bomb site. And despite the heavy utility presence, they're going to wrap back around, wrap back around towards the apartments in mid. The backstab set from Dez actually could catch them off guard if they go towards the mid position and they don't check this back corner. It's not a common CT hiding spot. It may account for this though, in flames. Might not get off so lucky. We hear two footsteps. He now knows that there's two T side players up top mid. ZQK will try to wrap back in with the AWP to cover off this underpass position, realizing that mid control might come in. But very, very quiet across this map. 60 seconds remaining. All 10 players are in play still. Oh, SMG, two players to find, he sprays on through, takes down one, looks for Nack, and that might just be enough. The T side players moving in towards the A bomb site, and a spray from Shaz is just as good. How have they pulled this off in flames? Exit, 1v5, nade to the face, and SMG home with a triple, Shaz will get it. What a round from the SMG lurkers of the CT side. That leaves no match point for the Sharks. 17-16, this one is still wide open at this stage. And another pause will be called a technical in nature for whom I'm not sure, but the bottom line Is still that the Sharks lead on CT side. Where they had their troubles over during regulation. I'll feed you real quick that first half going 8-7 of course which is where unfortunately we can't see where the rounds ended up but there were so many rounds in a row for Inflames when they had their T side start. And Shark still only a couple of rounds of taking this away. Here we go. First round of the new half. Sharks take this. They take match point again. 
In Flames, on the other hand, they take this, they stay alive to get to evens and try and take match point of the round after that. 19 is our magic number. Who's going to get there first if they get there at all? Smoke's flashing over the edge. Here come In Flames with the standard. They execute. They got one Krieg close. Another one at Firebox. A third back at CT. And Shaz ready for the man over on the sandwich position. Knack down. Opening frag. And Molotov's continuing to keep the CT suppressed. RCF ready and waiting. Takes out one spot a second and a third. Turns on for the triple, but he can't get it. Shaz comes up with two more back to the man advantage of the T side. And Leo turns around, sprays on Ludable Showtime, getting damaged, but no kills. And the AUG of Exit with an AWP and an AK to deal with one versus two. Gets the first, but doesn't get the second. In flames. Back to evens once again here. even once again no way for either side to break the stalemate at this stage rcf will try his hand at getting aggressive though and showtime head spotted and now caved in over in the apartments Through Molotovs in Knack. Losing a Seema back over to the connected position. Exit comes up with two quick fries. Shaz trades it back. Three versus two versus two, excuse me. Both CTs in towards the short position. Smokes down towards the open plant. And the AWP doesn't see any information, doesn't see any T side players. Leo will get up close and personal. Orbs in. AK around the corner. AWP fires away. Bomb yet to go planted here. RCF head spotted. Leo also spotted here. AK turns on for the one kill. Not quite the second tap. And the orb will drop the bomb. 30 seconds in the one versus one. Shaz on one point of HP as well. It's an orb v orb battle. RCF would do well to find an automatic weapon. He's going to rotate back over to the T-Spool. And 20 seconds left. And Shaz still thinks that he is in mid. And for being spotted, the bomb should go down. USP up, Shaz spotting and taps up, he knows he's low. It's the orb will get recovered by RCF. Three kills to his name, Sharks, 18. Match point finally obtained by the CT side. Would it be enough to turn it into magic? Would it be enough to turn it into the victory? In flames, buy up here still, economy levels out. As it does for the CT side all the same. AUG's in on two, orb out, MP7. T's slowly but surely make their way into the apps position, into the pass area. AK Alpha Shaz, first man in. Showtime trying to trade back the kill that he just lost. The AUG of Exit holds back behind the cinder block. Spots one towards Connect the Jungle. Looking off for RMN and gets that secondary kill. This is a four versus two Sharks. Now leaving one man standing with the T side. Flicks onto the first. Can't spot out a second. He knows he's somewhere down there. And the USP ready for the taste on tap. On through, gets the headshot and wins out the fight. 19-17 and finally at long last, Sharks break the cycle. They are your victors here on Mirage and your victors here in the best of three series. They're beating in flames and moving.